Hey guys, this is Torna and today we're going to be talking about how to prepare for the Athena event that's coming up later today. This is going to be going live in around 15 and a half hours. You're going to be wanting to be as prepared as possible for it and make the most of day one as you can to be able to get her ready. Um, it looks like this team's going to be decent, at least so far. Um, the Kalandus, which we already have unlocked, she is amazing. And having a look at uh, Athena, she She's potentially going to have a spot on my um, on my battlefield because of the fact that she's going to be able to buff up Kalandus and having like this this movement and stuff like that just looks amazing. I'm I'm pretty excited for it. So, how do we prepare? Now, the first thing is to keep in mind the way these events work. You're essentially going to be earning the uh, Waystone fragments, and then you're going to be spending them to be able to open chests, to be able to get shards for her. Uh, you get payouts based on how you're going and everything like that um, and then payouts from the missions as well and completing as many of these missions as possible from day one to be able to get her to unlock her and start working on her and everything like that and also giving you more time to work on the later missions because some of those are really really annoying so we want to make sure that we have as much ready available for that so how do we prepare First thing is, in here, there is going to be an offer that you'll be able to get. It's around 10 US dollars. I believe it was about 15 Australian dollars. It's definitely worth grabbing. It's going to give you extra uh, energy per day and give you extra points for the waystone. Every time you earn the waystone stuff, you're going to be getting extra. So it's going to be worth it to be able to get more shards for her. And Honestly, I've played a lot of mobile games and those offers, like that offer there is incredibly new player friendly. Um, and even like if you spend like a little bit per month, if you're only spending like $15 per month on a mobile game, that's worthwhile investment there in my opinion, compared to some other games that are pumping out three characters per month or something like that. Having one character per month with such a small bundle that's going to get you a plenty of shards is amazing and definitely worthwhile grabbing in my opinion. Just, just for the record, I don't get a kickback or anything like that from you guys purchasing or anything. Um, it's honestly, I, that's my legit opinion is that it's really great. So how do we prepare for day one? Basically make sure that you have full energy. You want to make sure that you have full energy ready for when this goes live. You want to make sure that you've got uh, plenty of raid tickets, at least five raid tickets because you'll need them. Uh, it, it, preferably you want more than that though, because the first few missions require you to do a fair bit of campaign battle. So you also want to make sure that you've got the arena max. You want to make sure that you've got 15 out of 15 attacks when this goes live. So the first few missions, if they're going to follow the same as the Calandus one and the same as the Ross with Ross with the one um, is the first one's going to be two lightning wins and five melee kills, which is just basically going to be you going through here and blitzing through any kind of one that you're going to be able to beat on, um, on uh, uh, lightning and, and, do the melee kills. You can probably get five melee kills easily in those two wins, I'd, uh, I'd assume. Next one is raid five battles and then tip Get, till, uh, get 10 kills with Xenos. So if you go into like the Indominus mirror campaign here, you're going to be able to use your Xenos characters and be able to go through it. If not, you've got like the Octarius campaign and worst case scenario, you don't have either of those to unlock. You can do it in arena. It's going to be a fair bit slower though, especially because you're going to rely on like uh, Aleph Null getting kills or something like that. And then the third one here, is going to be winning 20 campaign battles, which again, that's why we want this max because between the raiding five battles, the winning 20 campaign battles and the two lightning battles, if we do the quick math here, let's say uh, we're doing um, the tw uh, six energy ones because six energy is kind of normal. You got like 12 for the first mission. Then you've got like, uh, then you require 60 for the second one. And then you've got 20 times six, 120. So that's going to be like above your energy cap already. Now, you always have the free energy refreshes here, but another hint here is make sure that you have your Blackstone ready because you'll be wanting, in my opinion, to be spending 50 energy here 
and then the 110 as well as the free refresh that you get from watching an advertisement. That's going to get you additional points towards the leaderboard here, which means you're going to get additional uh, waystone points. So I would suggest always spending that 160 blackstone per day uh, on that energy there, as well as the free refresh, obviously, and then your kind of natural energy production you get as well. Now, the fourth mission here is going to be um, a bit more difficult, and that's going to be winning 20 arena battles. So you want to have this one prepped as well for when you get up to it, because winning 20 arena battles, um, uh, sorry, not winning, just playing, just playing 20 arena battles. It's going to take all 15 attempts, obviously, and then an additional five. So you want to basically be ready for that once you reach it, because it's like 50, it's going to be 15 plus, obviously, and a five extra ones, which means you want to have as many of these battle tokens ready. So that way you can blitz through that once you get up to it. That's kind of the first big stopping point because you're going to need those 20 arena battles. The 50 range battles, that uh, range attacks that come along with it is pretty easy, but the, um, the 20 arena battles is going to take you a little bit of time. And from there, there's other missions afterwards, but we're just talking about how to prepare for day one. So that's basically, in my opinion, the best way you can prepare for day one. Keep in mind that with the missions that are like get 10 kills with Xenos, you can also do that in like arena or uh, sorry, in onslaught or salvage run. That will work fine. Um, I mean, technically you could do it in guild run or arena as well, but to be honest, onslaught is like, if you come in here, with uh do the xenos battles here this is going to get you basically those 10 xenos kills for the second mission pretty easily but that's it today guys um as i said athena coming out tomorrow i'm pretty excited about her because i want to run her alongside my calandus and calandus is probably one of my favorite characters in the game as we kind of covered previously in my my favorite color <laughs> my favorite ca uh, characters in here she's also got deep strike oh man I i'm so hyped let me know down in the comments what you guys think that's it for today have a great day and goodbye.